Good morning. Welcome to Atlas Maslin's launch of the Living Series, the long-awaited Living Series. Long-awaited, yes. Yes, I am Elena Cordoba, your Executive Director of Design and Product Development, and I'm here with James Bourgeois, who is Senior Vice President of Senior Living. Correct, yes. I'm going to hand this off to him and let him give you a few words about this product right now. We are a team when it comes to this. We're so excited about Living Series. Living Series is basically the combination of senior living, uh, hospitality, multifamily, and lifestyle experiences. Exactly. And I think this is a perfect uh, togetherness of those thoughts. Yes. And I'm looking forward to really talking about that as we go through it. But right now we want to talk about the products. The one I'm standing in front of is called Intrepid. I absolutely am in love with this pattern. This is one of my kids that I love and it's based on a sunset that I saw right before I relocated here from California. I moved here from California a year and a half ago to take this position and, you know, kind of make the magic happen here. So Intrepid is based on a sunset that I saw. I decided I wanted to kind of interpret that in carpet and this is my interpretation of that sunset. So Living Series is comprised of two portfolios. The first one called Achievements. It has three running line products, Intrepid, spirited and purposeful. And then it has five supporting patterns and we will get to those as we go through this filming. Okay, I mentioned that our achievements portfolio is comprised of eight patterns total, three running line and five supporting. And all eight of those patterns are offered in both tile and broad limb. Very nice. One thing I'd like to say that I think is really beautiful about Purposeful is that Purposeful is a great blended product that you can work with Intrepid. We just saw Intrepid. I mean, Elena, you did a wonderful job in coming up with a series of patterns that work well with these larger scale patterns like Intrepid. Um, we'd love to hear, hear your comments about that. Well, I, what I wanted to do is create an offering that you could mix and match in really unexpected ways. Right. We want to push the envelope here and get you to think about this differently in terms of how you would use patterns together right. in spaces. So when you see our actual brochure that we're launching with this, you will see how we've photographed these patterns put together in different ways that you normally wouldn't think to put them together. And in, in her brilliant way of thinking about this and the design team, which I think is really impressive, is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to limit waste which yes. is a very big issue in senior living, hospitality, and multifamily. And I think we've done a, a good job of doing yes. that. And as I said, that is shown to you in the brochure, which you will see with the actual launch of this product, which is really your very needed grid pattern. In any offering, you need a grid. But it's not just any grid. It's a grid with an interest. It's a grid that is actually disrupted in that it's not perfect. But it's not supposed to be perfect because I don't aim for perfection. I like right. things to be a little off, a little right, skewed, yeah. a little bit like me. Uh, <laughs> and like him, no. Maybe so, <laughs> yes, right? But, you know, the interesting thing is it's very sophisticated in many ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can really dress it up and yes. you can dress it down. Exactly. So it's very functional and, right. you know, you can manipulate the it's way like you want to use really it. It's like that really good pair of jeans that right. you, can, yeah, you can wear it anyway. You can wear it with tennis shoes or you right. can dress it up with a, a sports coat. Right, perfect. Or in my case, some heels. Right. So yeah, it, it really has a lot of versatility in that, that That's regard. That's purposeful, fantastic. Yes. And now we are presenting Spirited, which is the third pattern in the running line offering from Achievements. By the way, the coloration that you have seen in these three patterns so far is called Beach Day, which is this beautiful Absolutely shade of beautiful. blue with touches of copper and green. And it mm -hmm. just, you know, it really speaks to that sunset kind of over the water, especially in Intrepid. Right. But Spirited is, it's really kind of a branchy, leafy, very open pattern that can go in many applications. And as James was saying in our discussion earlier that you weren't privy to, and we're talking about it going in corridors, and it's like the perfect pattern for that. 
It also has a lot of texturing going on, which really helps you to just create an interesting space or an interesting floor, again, depending on the color that you choose to put this in. So well, you, I mean, you, I think you're exactly right. What I love about the pattern, it's a large scale. Uh, it works back with purposeful. Like we talked about blending the, the patterns, take some risk, uh, do some things that are different in terms of creating uh, wayfinding. I think yes. it's a great pattern for that. The part that I really love about it is that in this color, it's very bright and beautiful and bold, but you can, you can still do a textural study and use one of the lighter colors that we have, and then it totally changes the look. Nice for open spaces, dining. Um, I think it's fantastic. Good I job. I wanted this is to beautiful. say, so in, in these shots that you're seeing two pieces, the larger piece and then the smaller piece. And what you're mm -hmm. seeing here is the broad loom offering. Mm -hmm. And the smaller one is actually tile pieces that have been cut up and put together. So it's really showing you what they look like. You can see the plank line come in, but yes. look how beautiful it works together. As it's a tile. It's not distracting. The movement's low. So it will work in uh, independent care plus 55 assisted living. I think it would work quite fine. It's beautiful. Yes. Well done. And now we are presenting the supporting pattern from Achievements. As I mentioned, there are three running line and five supporting, and I'm, we're standing in front of the supporting patterns. We have exacting, fearless, elaborate, active, and aspiring. And these are all adjectives that really apply to people, but they also apply to these products, especially fearless. You, I really think you have to be fearless. I love use fearless. This. I love this too. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is going to be brave enough to use it. So you've got to be fearless. You know, and to in the marketplace, it. Elaine, I mean, we hear a lot about movement and how you shouldn't use products that yes. are, you know, high in movement, obviously in memory care. But I would argue, I love that we have this in the line. And the reason is it's different. We're pushing the boundaries of what's out there in the market. Right. And I can see that in a hospitality feel, in a Absolutely. community, a senior living community. Absolutely. And I think it's beautiful in an open space and I think it works well. Well Absolutely. done. Absolutely, I 100% agree. And see, the beauty of this is you have choices. You don't have to choose this. Correct. This is an yes. option for anyone who is fearless enough to go here. Right. And I, I will say that I dare you to go here. Right. Well, That's and the it. wonderful thing is, is that when we show this product fearless, and show exacting. Exacting is a little bit minimalistic. It works quite well. Some yes. designers and specifiers like to see minimalistic pattern content, right. and that works quite well. It just, yes. it, it has its place. Yeah, every, everything does, and there's something here for everyone. So whatever it is that you're looking for, you will find it in this program. Right. It's here. Yes. Be it your pattern or your color. And we'll get to all the colors last because I think they're absolutely stunning. So what was your inspiration about Elaborate? Elaborate is kind of based on cork. It looks like cork. If you look at it, it yeah. looks like a cork floor. See, I see Paisley. Well, okay. It could be one of those tests where I ask you, what do you see? <laughs> you will say Paisley. Someone right. will say flowers. Someone else will say they'll see the cork. People will see, will say they'll see like swirling water. It really, it, right. it depends Very on, organic. on, it, it's open interpretation. Okay. I just leave it right. that way. But my inspiration for this was kind of a court floor. Mm -hmm. What I'm hearing in the marketplace and what I'm hearing from specifiers and operators and, and, and purchasing agents is that this product is perfect for blending. And uh, we talked about, we talked about blending products before. Mm -hmm. I mean, this would work great with spirited. It would work great with uh, intrepid. It's just a wonderful uh, all purpose, I think, uh, material in terms of the pattern content. And to see it in the different colors, it's so dynamic. Yes. Yeah, there is no right or wrong with how you blend yeah. these patterns here. It really is entirely up to mm -hmm. you. It depends on how disruptive you want to be to the norm. But we want them to be disruptive, yes, right? Yes, we do. Yes. We totally do. I disrupt things as much as I can, and it's really up to the rest of you to disrupt them We further. challenge you, in fact, to yes, be disrupted. exactly. Absolutely. And now we present Living Series Book 2 called Blossoming. So just like Book 1 Achievements, Book 2 also has three running line patterns and five supporting patterns. And we're standing in front of Energetic, 
By the way, this is in color nine neutrality, which is a, I think is a beautiful color. It's a nice play on neutrals with touches of brights with this gold. But energetic is a pattern that is energetic. <laughs> It has this kinetic feel because it's kind of a grid set on the diagonal with this kind of fading in and out kind of motif that right, you see yes. going on. Yep. One of the things that I realized when I traveled the United States showing this product, I personally didn't like it as much as the other patterns that we have. But I have I'll to be tell honest. You, say you didn't like it. Say you I, hated I it. Really <laughs> did, I really didn't like it. But one of the things that, you know, you cannot prejudge fashion. You cannot prejudge a line. And I challenge you not to do that. Because when I got when I got experience from other designers and talking about this pattern, it 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 made me realize that I had to look at it in a different way. And then seeing it in a mock-up, it was fantastic. So just seeing it in a little photograph or a you know a strike off or whatever, right, it's, it doesn't piece. do it justice. So when you really look back at it, I think that the piece is really dynamic, and it's different than than anything else that we have. And then everything is subjective too. Correct. Because you don't like it or because I don't like it doesn't mean that there isn't someone out there who will don't like it. Don't prejudge a line. Don't right. prejudge anything or anyone. Right. The <laughs> Great point. And the other thing is what, what we're getting a lot of uh, positive feedback is the tile. And yes. you guys, don't be concerned about using tile in senior living, especially in assisted living independent living and you know in some cases even in memory care in some applications right. uh, look how beautiful it is in a, in a plank and I, this is a good time to mention that all of the tile products in these two offerings will be on our sustainable backing right so it's I didn't very know if you wanted to speak to that a little bit well sustainable backing is simply a backing that's breathable uh, it, it gives you the capability of doing minimal uh, prep work and by doing that, you you have issue you don't have the issues of moisture and and having to deal with the cost of moisture mitigation. And we'll talk about that later on yeah, and it's a little a bit more. Non PVC back, it's a cushion back. Yeah, you got me on that one. Yes. And now we get to adventurous. This is like one of my all-time favorite patterns. This is based on really that traditional Moroccan kind of OG, but it's so disrupted. It's different. Abstracted. It's abstracted. Yes. It's been modernized. It's not the old version of the pattern that we're used to seeing. Right. I wanted to bring it into today and make it mm -hmm. contemporary and push it, make it different. I'm all about disrupting the norm. And for me, well, this is totally a disruption of what is normal. I mean, especially the visual part of it, the, the undulations of the texture. I mean, I really love this detail right here. The carving. Oh, my it. gosh, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, when we traveled the United States, I mean, you traveled with it as well. Yes. I think it was one of the favorites uh, that all of our designers and specifiers liked. Yes. What I love about the product is that it can go in open spaces. It can go down a corridor. Right. It's very versatile and it's beautiful. And this one well is not offered in tile because we don't want to chop up this beautiful motif that you Correct. have here. So right. if you were to offer this as a tile, it would not have the same impact that you see. We think it's just stunning the way right. it is. So basically, leave it alone. <laughs> well, what I love about it is when you see the brochure, and we purposely put a lot of visuals yes. in the brochure to, to help you teach you all how to use the patterns. And this is a great pattern if you want to use it as a large scale pattern and you need a blended pattern we have wonderful pieces purposeful would would go quite well with it uh intrepid would go quite well with it i mean really any of the pieces that are a right. little bit smaller scale would work perfectly with this and we're about to show you keen which is yes. really beautiful with uh adventures and now we present the last of the running line in One of my favorites. I call it. <laughs> Keen is is it's a workforce pattern. It's totally a texture um, that really fits anywhere and everywhere. For people who want a quieter floor, but they still want it to say something, not silence. It's right. Speaks, I think that's well said. Yes. It, it speaks, mm -hmm. but it's not, it doesn't speak loudly, but it definitely has a voice. It's just a great overall texture that fits anywhere everywhere and it fits with any of the 
what I love about it and what I hear about it in my 20 years of doing what I've been doing, you know, there's always a, uh, a minimalistic pattern that's offered in a collection. This is completely different because you, you have linear directions that are happening within the piece to me that make it really a showcase piece. And many of the, the design folks will want to use this piece as a minimalistic piece. Yes. And maybe they want to put all of the emphasis of color in the in the uh, the textural elements or the you know or the uh, the colors of the paint or whatever. But this is a wonderful piece, not only on its own but also as an added feature to another piece that, in the collection. It makes a great backdrop. Yeah. Whatever you have going on in the you, you did a great job on this piece. I love it. It's Thank one of my favorites. You. And I know the, the fact that it has these diagonal movements throughout is mm -hmm. not. I wonder if the camera can see that, the different directional things that are happening. If you can show that, if you zoom in and you get these sort of flashes. Right. Movements and what I love about it too, when you look at the brochure, we have a visual that, yes. that is from above an and shot. an overhead yeah. shot is perfect. It's great. It's, mm -hmm. it's of a tile, actually. Right. That's laid in, in a right and you really you can't, that movement. It's just stunning. And, and, and you can't even tell it's a tile. No, you can't. It's beautiful. You can, you can run a, a vertical lash lar or horizontal yes. or just about any any way you want to. Sure. So now we are wrapping up the rest of Blossoming Book Two in Living Series. Here are your five supporting patterns that I mentioned earlier. We have habit. All completely different. Yes, all different. We have daring, we have industrious, we have grandiose, which the name totally fits. It's grand. <laughs> and we have victorious. Now, all of your supporting patterns are in the color denim wash. I guess I should have mentioned that probably earlier, but right. this is this is such a cool, cool color that these are Unbelievable. all these patterns are, I'm, I'm sorry, in a word, they're spectacular. So what do you... Nothing to do with the fact that I designed them. Well, what do you think about daring? I love this piece. Well, daring is structured, but not. It's not, right? Exactly. We're taking chances here. And, and, and that's what we do. It's what I do. I take chances as much as I right. can because I like to disrupt the norm. The blendedness of senior living, hospitality, right. multifamily. Yes, everywhere, anywhere. Right. It even has a workplace application. So then we move on to Industrious, which is kind of, the little brother is purposeful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes. It's again, that small kind of much needed grid. When you see it in a corridor, it reads more textural yes. than purposeful. Yes. It's minimalistic. It has more movement. Yeah. And it's smaller in scale. And, it, and it's very elegant when you see it in different colors. Right. So uh, even though this, you know, denim wash is beautiful, I'd love to see it in, in the lighter colors. Yes. yes. And then we move on to Grandiose, which is grand. <laughs> Again, this is another one of those classic patterns in that it is something of that, that sort of, again, that Moroccan sort of shape, but it's been disrupted and changed and modernized where there is texture, right. where there's multiple things going on within this big, I really love this one because I saw you work through the creative process of this. Yes. I mean, you did a you beautiful. <laughs> I know, but you did a beautiful job in really abstracting this very conservative pattern. This is going to be a top seller for us. I'm very excited to have it in the line. And then we get to Victorious, which is, I believe, this is your favorite. This is my favorite. It looks like cobblestone to me. Yes. It's very sophisticated. It works well with all of the patterns within Achievements and Blossoming. What he said. Yeah. So, and that brings us really to the end of our presentation of living. And, you know, just as a quick reminder, all of the tile products are all for the sustainable backing. The broadloom are all for the permian backing. And there will be more information. Very about important that. permian backing yes. is, is a uh, moisture resistant backing, and it's, it comes standard with the product. And it's a, it's a, it's a great value. And I'd like to say one thing. I'd like to thank 
the creative director, Elena, and her team and the marketing team putting this together. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful, successful uh, launch for us. Thank you. Thank you.